We have, in the past, covered the astonishing mega-metropolis that has been unearthed using ground-penetrating radar beneath a nearly impenetrable rainforest that now engulfs the area. A super-civilization that not only supports our posit of there once being a number of lost civilizations that have flourished and often seemingly met an untimely demise here on our planet, but has been estimated to have been home to more than 10 million sites such as Tikal, once believed to be independent separate clusters of past impressive and as yet unexplained block buildings, through the use of ground-penetrating radar, have been proven beyond doubt to have once been part of the same super-settlement that spanned nearly the entire rainforest that the site is now home to. Yet we have also covered the incredible ancient stone and earthworks that can be found dotting many areas of the Amazonian rainforest that again are indicative of a past super-civilization. Yet conveniently, since the discovery of Guatemala's super city, funding for such penetrative studies elsewhere of said areas has dried up. The question is why? Why are we witnessing an active attempt to conceal these ruins from the world? We feel the evidence to suggest so is now beginning to mount. However, where mainstream academia won't step, many others are fortunately willing to pick up the slack. And this particular area of interest is of no exception. And as usual, the investigative researchers have turned up some astonishing characteristics of the Amazonian rainforest, features which are indicative of another super-settlement possibly of a similar size to that of the ancient sites found within Guatemala. A group of scientists and researchers, after investigating the area, have put forward what has been pinned as the Amazonian Stonehenge. According to said researchers, they found evidence that a, quote, highly advanced ancient civilization once existed in Brazil. And although they have dated the ruins as having been built 500 years before the European colonization of the Americas began, we feel that the evidence to suggest that they were in reality far before this date will soon be realized, and that these people who once inhabited the Brazilian Amazon were possibly creating an impressive arrangement of immense towering granite blocks. As such, scientists today speculate that these massive stones were like so many other sites we have covered in the past, attributed as that of an ancient astronomical observatory. The structure consists of 27 blocks of granite, each up to 4 meters tall, standing upright in a circle measuring over 30 meters in diameter. In other words, possibly more than a thousand years ago, an ancient civilization of native peoples were flourishing in the area. According to the New York Times, Radiocarbon tests and site measurements during the winter solstice shed light on the ancient civilization's abilities that inhabited the Amazon. From this, new archaeologists have realized that the people who lived in the area developed a more advanced civilization than previously thought. Who built the Amazon Stonehenge? When did they build it? Is there a lost super-settlement hidden beneath the Amazonian rainforest as that of the Guatemala rainforest, we find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling. The slow destruction of the Amazonian rainforest, the felling of thousands of square miles of trees, has not only shown us the result of man's insatiable and sometimes irresponsible hunger for resources, but also, ironically, what may become one of the most important historical discoveries of the modern age. Evidence of a very ancient and as yet unknown civilization has become apparent upon the now barren landscape. A civilization which would have dwarfed the Egyptian and Roman empires combined. As a result of the drastic deforestation that has taken place over the last few decades to make way for farming land, huge swaths of land features have become visible from the air. Not only are these now grassy areas showing evidence of numerous, enormous complex ancient cities, but also the remnants of what could be classified as straight Roman roads connecting these massive sites. According to a new report published in the Journal of Antiquity, the archaeologist Marti Parsinen, along with numerous other scientists, have documented more than 210 geometric structures. 
The city spreads out over an area of more than 250 square kilometers, reaching from northern Bolivia to the state of Amazonia in Brazil. Although the early explorers had heard legends from the Indians regarding a fabulously rich Amazonian civilization, which they named El Dorado, the countless searches for the city of gold have all invariably ended in failure. No evidence of a vast ancient civilization within Amazonia had ever materialized, that is until now. Most scholars subsequently concluded that El Dorado was no more than a story. Indeed, scientists believed that the merciless conditions in the jungle were simply too inhospitable to support a large population. The most influential archaeologist of the 20th century, Betty Meggers, famously dubbed the region as counterfeit paradise. In the early 1900s, the British explorer Percy Harrison Fawcett, while exploring and mapping much of the same area where the ruins were recently discovered, reported finding large earth mounds filled with ancient and brittle pottery. And buried under the jungle floor, he claimed he had also found traces of causeways and roadways. Based on this and other evidence, he insisted that the Amazon once contained large populations and at least one, if not more, advanced civilizations. Despite being dismissed and ridiculed as a crank, he set off in 1925 to find the place, which he christened the City of Z. Shortly thereafter, his entire party, including his 21-year-old son Jack, vanished within the jungle and they were never seen of again. Because of the symmetrical shape of many of these mounds now seen from the air and the way they slant to the north, a possibility that they may have had an astronomical purpose had begun to be seriously looked at. We could quite possibly be on the verge of discovering another highly advanced civilization which once lived here on Earth. As always, thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.